Hello everyone and welcome back to Sassy Bell. So this video is going to be like a little birthday vlog because if you guys didn't know, tomorrow on the 2nd of September I'm going to be turning 15. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I'm turning 15. Like it's just so weird. I don't know why, like 15 just sounds like such a big number and like I don't know. It just it just feels really weird that I'm turning 15 tomorrow. Anyway, you're probably wondering why I look like this, a mess, um, and that's because we've just been to the pool, we're just going to the showers, and we're about to cut my hair. Um, I normally like have my hair really long, but I'm starting to cut it. Um, I did get it cut like a bit in, like it, when we were in quarantine. I did get it cut like quite short, but my hair grows back so fast, and like the ends are getting to that stage again where it's like they need cutting again so i think i'm going to i don't know how much i'm going to get taken off did i get like i don't think i'm going to get like that much i think i'm going to get it to about here maybe there to about there um but i'm about to mum's about to cut my hair and she's about to cut the girl's hair and then we're kind of just going to have a nice chilled out evening my last evening and my last last night sleeping as a 14 year old anyway guys this is the last time i'm going to blow a kiss to the camera on my sassy bell videos being a 14 year old so i'll see you all tomorrow when i'm 15. good night guys Mwah. officially 15 and me and the girls are just now heading down to the block to get ready for the day so what we're going to do today is we're starting off just by heading down to the pool aren't we girls yeah. um but we're just heading down to the toilet block now we're going to get ourselves ready for the pool i'm going to have loads of fun and have a little swim around Page you up to now? Three. Whoa, look, this is how much Isabel's been bossing this book, and she's only had it for like two hours now. Yeah. So that's a lot of pages, babe, in two hours. You're gonna finish this book by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> So we are just getting some lunch and I've decided to go for a spinach and mushroom omelette because these are literally the, the, this is the best omelette I've ever had. Then they come with a, some chips and this beautiful looking salad. Look how good that looks. I'm also jealous of mum's food right now because oh yes, she's got an avocado that. sandwich. With, oh, oh how good that looks. So good. So good. Isla got some cheesy nachos which look really good. And Esme, did you get? She got, I got the same bagel as chips. And then Dad also got the same thing as Mum, which looks so good. I just want you for my breath in the morning. I just want you for my breath in the morning. I just want you for my breath in the morning. Um, getting themselves out of the shower and getting ready. Also, who loves my new funky glasses? 
they look just like kind of cool. Also, I absolutely love my outfit. I think it's so cute. I absolutely love it so much. And it's just like, with the glasses, it's just like, and obviously I've got all my nice jewellery to put on when I get back as well. Smells my head. having a lovely meal out and I've just changed into my silky PJs which I love they're literally so comfortable tomorrow in the morning I'm actually going to um give you guys a little haul a little haul um everything everything that I got um and today's just been absolutely amazing day i want to say thank you to all my family members for an amazing day and also thank you to all of you guys for all of your amazing birthday messages anyway me and the girls are actually just watching chip and Dale, which if you don't know me oh, i love chip and Dale so much it's like one of my favorite cartoons listen it's like one of my favorite cartoons anyway me and the girls are going to watch Chippendale and then in the morning I'm going to film a little haul of everything that I got for my birthday. Anyway, it's been an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the morning for the haul. Good night. Good morning everyone. So it is haul time. So I've just got myself ready and come outside ready to film my haul for you all. So this haul is basically just going to be about everything that I got, a bit of detail and basically why I wanted them. So, I'm going to start off with this really cute bag which I got from Benny Dom. We were actually going on like a little, I was going out with mom to have a look if I saw anything that I liked for my birthday and I found this really cute bag and I was like, oh I really would like a cute bag like that just for like when I'm going out places um, and we're going out to dinner and I want to take a few like bits out with me, I thought it would be really cute to get a bag. So. Um, there was actually loads of colours of these, there was like a black one, a pink one, but I thought the white one would just like go with everything and I also love the gold like little hoop handle, it's really cute. But I've also put essential, some of essential things in here and a few of these um, are like gifts for my birthday. So at the top of my bag I've got my sunglasses because it gets very sunny in Portugal. Um, I love these sunglasses so much, they're really really cool and obviously really nice pretty pink. And then I've also got some of these, which I got for my birthday, which I think are absolutely adorable. So I got these really cute little like, necklaces. So this is a silver one with just one butterfly coming down. And then I have the same one, which is a gold one with just one butterfly coming down. Um, and those are really, really cute. And then I've also got these ones, which is a necklace with butterflies going all around and the same in silver. And then I also got these um earrings that like matching earrings however i tried to put them in my ears and the actual way that's meant to go in my <gasps> guys i've just realized i'm missing an earring anyway the bit <laughs> the bit on the um ear doesn't actually go in i'm going to try it again now i've just taken another earring out i don't know where the other one's gone so i open it up like this and then this bit here is meant to go in my ear but like it's really just a bit it's <gasps> wait that one goes it does that one go in Guys, this one just went through. Or maybe the silver ones are just like that. Oh, yay! Okay, so it's gone through, that's so pretty. Okay, moving on to my next gifts, which are these. I also got these in Benny Dom. I thought I'd just do the bag and the belts first because um, I got these myself. So, I got this really pretty gold one, which is really, really sparkly. I don't, oh wait, it's the wrong side. Really, really sparkly. Um, and I think it's just really cute. I tried to wear it with um, my shorts. However, this bit's like kind of long at the back. Um, but you can kind of just tuck it in and it's really really sweet and then I also this one is my favorite one So it's like a, just a like a black belt with loads of silver on the side and I wore this one yesterday and 
like in the sun it was just so sparkly and also when we were sat in the car on like the tv screens it was sending like loads of rainbows onto the screen because of like how sparkly it was in the sun um so this one is definitely my favorite one this next gift or kind of like two gifts is something that i kind of asked for like quite a while ago but like forgot about kind of and so when i opened them i was like oh <gasps> Oh my gosh, they, I've got them. So I really wanted some silky PJs. So mum got me two different sets. First is this pink one, which kind of has like a collar on it. And then it's got sleeves um, with like cute little red around it. And also on the front, it has, um, what's it say? Girl power around a heart. And this one's really nice and soft. Um, and obviously if it's like kind of colder this one is better to wear because it's got like the sleeves and then she also got me this navy like blue kind of color is this blue i don't know i think it's navy but, like really dark blue um this one is like a top with like straps so it's like not like sleeves it's less hot i've been wearing like this one um to sleep in because I did, start, I did wear the pink one and I just woke up in the morning and I was way, way too hot. So I've been wearing this one which makes me a lot cooler and then they both come with like the same colour shorts. Which again are just really cute and so soft. Moving on. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this one. Okay, so we'll go for the um, other ones first. So mum also got me a lot of books because if you guys don't, didn't know, I actually love reading books. And we mum got me like got everyone kind of to share like seven books and i read them all in like the first three weeks of us having them which is absolutely crazy and then i also read esme's twilight series that she had i read those twice through so i'd like read every single book that we had with us um and obviously we couldn't get any more because if we went to like a bookshop they would probably be sold um in whatever like in spanish or in portuguese um so i was really upset about the fact that i couldn't read any books and i was like oh i really want some books um but i'm not going to be able to get any but mum managed to get me some which i'm so happy about so the two that i kind of had um a look at i'm reading another one called the shut eye which is the blue one which i've started to read which is so good but the other two that i got were these ones called die alone which are all by Simon Koenig. I feel like the other day I said, I think I said the other day I said Simon Kenrick and mum that just looked at me like, what? But it's Simon Koenig and um, apparently his books are really, really good. I don't think I've ever read any of his books. I might have. Um, but anyway, um, Die Alone, which looks really good. I can't wait to read that one. And then this one, which mum and dad have both read, which is called Relentless, which... Um, I did start to read that one, like just, just the beginning of it, but then I was like, I, I want to save it, so I started to read the other one. And then we have the big Twilight book, which I've already read. I literally read it within the first two days of having it because I just didn't put it down. I literally sat at the, I didn't even get in the pool. I sat at the pool all day reading it, um, and I've just. I've just not put it down since I got my, got it on my birthday. And it is such a good book. Literally, like, like my favorite book I've ever read. Um, I did actually have someone ask me a question, I think it was on Instagram, um, asking me, do you have to buy all of the Twilight series books to read Midnight Sun? Um, and that is no. I actually thought this book was going to be about everything that happens like his point of view through all of the series of everything that happens i just i don't know when i saw the size i was like oh, yes it's going to tell us everything but the book is actually just based on the first say like the first book so just the first twilight it's based on that so if i was you i would like maybe get the first twilight book you don't have to get the full series but i'd maybe first get the first twilight book read it from bella's point of view um because it's really good as well from her point of view and then read it from his point of view because i've actually find i found it nicer to read it when i also understood her point of view um because i feel like if i just read his point i'd be like oh what, what what did she think when he was saying that so i read her point of view first and then i read his because it's like literally the same but everything that he thinks and it's so good i hope that maybe in the future she comes out with other books me and esma saying this esma's actually just come out we were saying how we really wanted her to do more didn't we as from her point of view i don't know if she will maybe she's already wrote some that are coming out but 
it'd be so cool if she had like her, his point of view from New Moon and all the other books. It'd be really cool. So we're down to the last three gifts and this gift I love so, so much. So I really wanted a MacBook case because that uh, mum has one, a really nice one, and then I didn't have one. It's just like my silver one. And I wanted it to look really pretty. So mum got me this one, which is like, I wanted a marble one, but then I also wanted a glittery one and mum literally found one in between. So it's like, kind of marbly and then loads of golden glitter on it which i think is just so cute and i can't wait to put this on my map book this next one i am so like so happy i, I don't even think i even mentioned this one i think i mentioned it once when i saw someone else um on tiktok have it and i was like oh this is so cool but i didn't actually think mum was going to get me it so it's one of these detective story things so you can get this and um it's basically there's loads of different ones that you can get this one is an arson attack one so i'm going to open it up and just quickly show you like what it is so when you first open it up you kind of have this little sheet at the front which is basically just explaining to you um what it's about and what we're trying to do so it's basically about a man because i've already like read this all but um it's basically about a guy who has been put in jail because they thought he was responsible for the arson attack they thought it was he was responsible for the fire um but he says he wasn't and then he's like found all this evidence and like kind of sent it to me the person who's trying to help him um so there's like this big criminal file which is so cool um and you get to look through all of this so it's got loads of things in here like complaints from people legal complaints it's got like a map of the town it's got a gps tracker on a car there's also loads of other things just like this there's just loads there's loads and loads of sheets of things some of them i don't even understand what they are i need to like google what they mean um but what i thought was really cool is this you get a suspect motive proven alibi sheet which is really really cool and underneath your file you get loads of evidence on the bottom so there's like this notebook which has loads of different bits in you have this which is from like, the daughter which is like a letter which actually is really key you also get like a newspaper and like so much more you literally got all of these all of these pictures of people you've got like so much now moving on to our last gift that is the camera which i got which is so cool so we open it up we can open up this like take the lens off and look how much this camera like zooms in like literally all of yesterday i was using this taking loads of pictures if we go onto my camera roll we can have a look got some pictures of the girls like i got one of esme and i also got one of jace yeah it was just really fun to just try and like get used to it and all of the different settings um and i think this is like one of my favorite gifts and also my twilight book anyway guys thank you all so much for watching today's video and i will see you soon with another video bye guys mm -hmm.